So here we have Hyrosium subcrocatum, which is one of the foliosa section with lots of leaves up the stem. And then if you look very carefully, the stem leaves are just clasping the stem, which separates it out from things like section sabauda. So this thing is relatively widespread up and down Britain, and it's quite variable in its characters as well. So here we are in Cumbria beside the River Loon, which is a very, very typical place to find them on the riverside rocks where they get hit a bit by floods. So how do we tell this species? Well, first of all, when you look at the styles, the styles here are dark. So there's only four section folioses with dark styles. And then when you look at the back of the heads, they've only got a few glandular hairs uh, and very few, uh, or if none usually, in the way of simple hairs or stellate hairs. And then also, the pedicels don't have any uh, stellate hairs or, sorry, don't have any glandular hairs or, or simple hairs. And then they've got really quite entire leaves, reasonably broad, um, uh, and it's really a relatively easy species to identify. So dark bracts, glandular hairs on those, but no simple hairs, and dark styles. And then the absence generally of simple hairs, although there are one or two on these. So there you are, Hyracium subcrocatum.